Hello. Are you here for the interview? Yes, of course. <laughs> Stop. 31. Stop. 32. Stop. 33. Stop. So sorry I'm late. Traffic was a little rougher than no. I was expecting. No trouble at all. 34. Stop. 160. 160 degrees Fahrenheit is the recommended temperature to cook human flesh internally. 35. Stop. Cannibalism is not a widely accepted practice in our modern society, but honestly, human is a prime substitute for most meats. I mean, there's just so much you can do with it. Steak from the biceps, barbecue ribs, buffalo sauce fingers. You know, I, I've met some people that say they crave the flesh of a human and cannot be stopped. I personally fucking hate those guys. When do we become monsters? Uh, vampires, werewolves, zombies? Those are all novelties. I partake solely out of enjoyment. It is a choice that I acknowledge. And when I find the right dish, I eat just like any other hungry person that goes out to a fancy restaurant and picks their own lobster. I find it both classy and satisfying. Classifying. 36. Stop. My name is... Oh, Lee. names aren't important. Too personal for food. I'm really excited for the opportunity to be in the soup commercial. Yes, we have really been looking for our next lovely face to bless our well-known ads. Classifying is hard. Color doesn't affect taste, but build is everything. Fat, skinny, muscular, petite, uh, and sex. Sex is just as important. Males generally have a bit more of the tougher muscle, but females just tend to taste better. It's pretty simple, actually. Just put out a fake casting call for exactly what you're in the mood for, pay in cash, use a fake name, and people will come right to you, eagerly, desperately. So please, have a seat. I've done work in commercials before. I take direction very well, and I'm eager to learn and give what I have to any project. Well, I'm sure you would be great, and we won't have too many new things to throw at you, but we'll make sure to get you something you can really sink your teeth into. Okay, okay, I know, I know. 37, stop. I think it's imperative that I explain a few things. That's me. Well, well, that's me in my head. Uh, I mean, damn it, listen to that accent. It's pretty good. Okay, so I didn't really say the sink your teeth into thing and Maybe things didn't go quite the way that I'm saying they did, and maybe some things went wrong, and we ended up accidentally going out on a date instead of having a, an interview for my meal, but what? <laughs> she was nice. 38. Stop. Fuck. Okay, um, uh, oh, college. College is, is where you experiment. College is where you learn new things about yourself. You, you try everything at least once, and you meet some of the best friends of your life. I met my best friend my sophomore year. Parker. Hey, name's Parker. He was nice. Hey, why'd the chicken cross the road? He was funny. Hey. Gonna eat that? He was just like me. It was perfect. 39, stop. We traded recipes on how to prepare our meals. We swapped tents on how to not get caught. We did everything together. And we were there for each other. Neither of us ever let the other one down. Ever. 40, stop. I had a great time. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, welcome home, honey. How'd it go? Hmm? Oh, couldn't really get anyone. Sloan eye, you know. Who was that? Oh, that, um, she... Her name... That one's just plain hard to get. Oh, you couldn't find a dark enough spot to kill her? No, no, or, no. Or someone that. spotted you two together, you got all fidgety. <laughs> no. This one's just taking some time to get. Okay. Sure, sure, the old wine and dine, yeah? And grind, put on a bun, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good. I'm counting on you, man. We're running low on reserves here. It is so much harder to attract a meal with a with a sense of humor and a kind disposition than with an accent and ruggedly good looks, you know? I got called a puppy dog again today. This fucking Kyle guy. I know, one. I know. And don't worry, this one's just about ready. 41. Stop. 42. Stop. Sometimes these things took time. Sure, good looks and charm go a really long way, but in our modern day and age, people are more hesitant to just walk into a stranger's home. 43. Stop. More often than not, you have to use a little finesse to get things to work. You gotta eat her sooner or later, dude. You can't keep taking her out on dates and whatnot. It's rude. Hey, I'm getting her onto it, okay? You're getting attached, aren't you? You really like Lily. L. 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 Names are unimportant. You really like L, huh? She's alright, but I much rather have her for dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me over for dinner, Mark. <laughs> yes, Mark. What a kind thing you've done for us. <laughs> yes, for us. Yes. For us. Oh, Christ. Anyway, let's eat Lily. Al. Let's eat Al. Wait, what? Oh, silly me. Forgot my comma. Oh. While speaking? Fuck! We ate, Al and I. We had salad. Al's a vegetarian. Life is sacred. I was gonna do it. it. It was going to happen. 44. Stop. Shit. I, I mean, I'd eaten people before. What made her so special? What makes her so special? What? I mean, we haven't eaten actual humans since I picked up that Kyle K. guy. K! Names are unimportant. That K guy two months ago. It will happen, okay? It's... It's my new way of, of tenderizing and and work in the product to be exactly what we want. She's tiny. She's healthy. Her mm -hmm. organs are healthy. She doesn't drink. We work out and do yoga. I stay away from red meat. I? And it we? I, loud and clear, Mark. I hear you. It's fine if you want a relationship, dude. That's, that's great. But you need to find somebody else if we're gonna eat. I feel like you're not pulling your weight. Working hard, boys? Was she here the whole time? Mark, I was saying some really weird shit. It's fine. I told her we were working on a play. Alright, Mark. Mark. You need to make a decision. And quick. I'm gonna have to find someone else to eat with. Is the scene done? Can we go to the movies now? Okay, so he was a little rude. But maybe he was right. I mean, I couldn't just keep leading her on like that. And it's not like we were anything serious. 45. Stop. I definitely needed to take her feelings into account and just eat her already. Eventually. She moved in? Should I be here right now? Stay! Stay! And yes, she moved in. Sorry, Elle, it's no big deal, you know, just... Mark didn't really consult me. You don't even live here. I'm here enough. Oh, I see. You made a decision. Well, I'm already moved in, so. Actually. I see what you're doing. Keeping her here, away from the rest of the world. Alone. With you. I can seriously Stay. leave. Hey, Parker, come on, stop messing around. We go out a lot, actually. Mark likes a lot of the same things I do, so we get to spend a lot of time out of the house. Oh, I see. I just think that this here might be a grave mistake. What? Parker! I mean, I think that you two may be wrong for each other. Dead wrong. I can seriously stay! stay. I mean, for example, you're a vegetarian, and Mark, 
Well, he's not. Parker. I mean, he's foreign. The cultural differences alone. I know. He smokes, he drinks, I he has know, red I hair, know. he's a man. And Look that doesn't that. bother me at all. But you kind of are right now. Oh, am I bothering you? Because you've been bothering me for quite some time, Missy. Parker! Oh, really? No, oh, no, fakely. I mean, do you know Mark? Like, actually know him. I can guarantee you, you would not be living here if you did. Parker! You know plenty. I may not know Mark as well as you do, and <laughs> until now I've respected that. I know you have history, and I've been trying my damnedest not to interfere, but I expected some equal respect from you. Mm -hmm. I know that I love Mark, and what? he at least likes me enough to exercise with me, even though I know he doesn't like it, to have not pressure me into drinking when we go out and to avoid red meat for yeah, his own Yeah, he's health. a sweetheart, and I'm just the bad guy. But at least I don't play with my food. Okay, so maybe I should have consulted him first, B but I thought it would be good. I, I could keep a closer eye on her, for health and eating purposes, of course. 46, stop. <sighs> Love. Okay, I've been trying not to. Oh, God. It's been a month since you've seen Parker. Oh, God. You should talk to him. He was rude to you. I, I don't want to talk to him. I think I'll live. Oh, God. Just invite him over for dinner. I'll make something and we can all talk. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously, though, he was important to you. And if he's important to you, I don't think you should give that up. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. 47. I'll do it. Stop. I'll invite him over for dinner. What? I said it was nothing serious. The only serious thing was how much I wanted to taste that succulent, beautiful, kind, human flesh again. I had to do it. 48. Stop. Parker was my best friend. Besides, it, it was my plan all along. She needed to get close to me. That way, when she was eventually gone, I would seem less suspicious. So, dinner? You invited me to dinner. Mark, you'd better be serving me a hot plate of L or a heaping pile of apology. L. Yeah, I said L. Names are unimportant. Tonight's dish is a hot plate of L. You're fucking with me. There's no way. Hey, I said I would deliver her, and I did. Pun intended. There's no way. No? Can't you smell this familiar smell? If you went into the kitchen right now, you would find a delectable entree of several courses L a card. It does smell like it. <laughs> There's no way. You fucking did it, man. <laughs> I've honestly given up on you. <laughs> yeah, well, you can always trust old Mark because he always hits his mark. Seriously, dude, enough with the puns. Let's eat L. <laughs> Glad to see you're back together and doing theater again a little quicker than I expected, but I'm happy. What the fuck, Mark? I said to stay in the room. Your cooking made me hungry, so I came to grab a snack. What is this shit? Just one meal. That's all I needed. You can still eat. Who did you cook if not Elle? Who? Tell us. Fuck it. Mark's a cannibal. A can- I, I do cannonballs, so when I swim, I, I love it. No, 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 he, he eats people. Out of house and home. A every time I go to anyone's home, I eat all their food. <laughs> Mark, I don't understand. Mark, I don't understand. He eats human beings. He's a real-life Hannibal Lecter, and so am I. I, I beat human beastings. I'm a Hannibal <laughs> Lecture. Tell her. Tell her you were going to eat her. Mark. Yelfer, Yelfer, I, I was going, going to sheep herd. Tell us who you're cooking in there. If it's not L, who? Willie. What? 
Lily. Names are unimportant. Lily. Lily. I've been incredibly unfair to you. I've been lying to you from, from the, the moment, moment we met. met. I'm not this ruggedly Italian I stud that, that exercises, exercises and reads. I don't care. Lily. I'm, I'm a, a cannonball. Cannibal. No, I'm, I mean I love you. Oh shit. I do. I, I was a different man before I knew you. And I don't want to be that way anymore. I made some mistakes, but they aren't important as long as you trust that I would never do anything to hurt you or anybody else ever again. Mark. You can, you can leave. I would understand if you did. But just know that even though I've been dishonest about a lot of things, I really do love you. Sorry, Al. Uh, Lily, I, uh... I got him a little worked up with this whole script reading thing. You know, I'm a, I'm a method actor. He, he told you, you know, I'm a auditioning for the uh, ca cannibal play. Get a little too into it sometimes. Start going a little, you know, a little, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll leave you two alone. I'm sure uh, you will. Uh, yeah, see, see ya. How much of that did you believe? Less than I'd like to. I'm sorry, Mark. I'd better go too. I need time to gather my thoughts. I understand. It's silly think about how much you're willing to change yourself for a single person. 49. Stop. I may have fabricated a bit about myself. A lot. <laughs> but she was everything. I wouldn't change. <laughs> I couldn't change a single thing about her from the moment we met to the moment that she finally left me. So now I sit. Sit and remember and count. 51, stop! Count the number of lives that I sacrificed to satisfy my own hunger. 52. Stop! And after every number, I tell myself what I should have done from the very beginning. 53. Stop! 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 I never would have eaten anybody. I never would have placed the ad. 54. Stop, and I never would have met her. 55. Stop. What's, what's the exchange? How can I justify giving up this life when it led me exactly where I wanted to be? 56. Stop. Because of this life. I couldn't keep what I had. But because of this life, I got to have it at all. Was it worth every bite? 57. Stop. that.